it is curious that the Americans who calculate so carefully on the possibilities of military victory do not realize that in the process they incur current deep psychological and political defeat. The image of America will never again be the image of revolution, freedom and democracy, but the image of violence and militarism. There are those who want to see a war between Islam and America. What they won't tell you is that there are many similarities between Islam and America. First and foremost, both establishing, promoting, and encouraging justice. In the U.S. Constitution, it says, we the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice. The Quran says, O you who have attained to faith, be ever steadfast in establishing justice, and be witnesses to God, even if you have to testify against yourself, your family, or your community. Why does Islam need America? We are more free to worship and to assemble freely here in America than anywhere else, including Muslim-majority countries. We are not subject to tyranny or authoritarianism, but we live in a free society that allows us to think critically how Islam is applied to the modern era. We have seen throughout the world the failures of religious states. We have seen the failure of what is called the Islamic State. We have seen the failure of the Jewish state that we, Americans, continue to fund with our tax dollars. We are confronting the rise of Christian nationalism in America. They are all failures because religion is tethered with ethno-nationalism. Religion then becomes an instrument of war used to coerce people to convert to a religious ideology. Instead, God meant religion to be an instrument of peace. Religion has flourished in America because of our secular framework. Religion flourishes when it is the property of the people and not the property of the state. Malcolm X said that America needs to understand Islam because it is the one religion that erases from its society the racial problem. America is the microcosm of the world, and when all of America's citizens participate and share in our American project, then America is stronger for it. The Quran says, to each of you we have made a different law in a different way. If God had willed, he would have made you into one community but he will test you with the different revelations, so go and compete by doing good work. American Islam, where America is home to Islam, offers us a new opportunity for religion to be an instrument for peacemaking and not an instrument for war. It offers that hope for fulfilling the Islamic obligation of emancipation, of women's rights, of human equality, of justice in the name of Islam. The way to peace is for we Americans to accept Islam as a religion in America. We still have a choice today, non-violent coexistence, a violent co-annihilation. We must move past indecision to action. Thank you